So before we fight Ultimecia, I'm going to make one small change to our lineup. Let's see here. Switch. Bring in Zell. No, actually, I'm going to bring in <laughs> Irvine. Simply because his limit break is superior to Selfie's. And even though he's only level 80 with all the junctioning, he's basically identical in stats to her. So real quick. Let's see. Eat a tent. Mm. Everyone's nice and blue. Um, I'm also going to change how they're junctioned because there's real no need for, say, draw in yeah. this fight. Or like, and count none. And count none. There's no need for that. So I'm going to replace um, every instance of draw with item simply because we have all those mega elixirs. And look at these. Initiative. Initiative's not going to be that useful. It's, it's only going to be one. the ones, yeah. yeah. So for her, I think I'm going to give, let's see. I don't like auto reflect, although. I'll be mostly using Mega Elixirs for healing, so that might actually be useful, but let's see. Counter could be good. Um, luck, speed. I think I'll just go with speed. Yeah. Like being fast. Overall, you could just. Like, you could individually boost one thing, or you could yeah. just get more actions in. Yeah. So, let's see. He's. That might be. Vitality might be useful. Spirit will probably be more useful because she's a sorceress, and that's. Uh, but what else do I have access to? Expend two for one. That's only good if I'm using a spell with double um, spirit bonus. These are only good when you level up. Move HP up, initiative, again, all that useful. Mug, not useful. I guess spirit, again, just that um, magic defense. Not going to be stealing anything, so I don't need a rare item. Place that with... Someone need... Auto haste, there we go, that's, mm. that's my stuff. Mug, that's probably not all that useful. Does he have any sh other strength bonuses? You know what? Forget it. I think his strength is already maxed out, so I'm not certain that would even Two make more a difference. Speed, or something. speed <laughs> yeah. Auto haste and speed plus forty percent. <laughs> yeah, have him just be the fastest man in the world. Sweet. Okay, one last save. Also, just to make shit a little bit more simple. No. So oh, I'll put it at the top. Yeah, put that up top. Yeah. So it's like boop, boop, boop. Fuck boop. Potions. Yeah. That's confusing. Why would you need? Why, why, why wouldn't you just drag it up from here up to here? Why does it have to be done on a whole separate menu to the right? <sighs> also, oh. ability, I'll shop. Any of these will do. Sell. I want the sell. In the ammo we're not going to be using, just again, so we can get to his good ammo really fast. Don't need this. Don't need this. Might need that. Don't need that. Pulse ammo, good. Fast ammo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's my fault. Okay. I think... I think we're ready. Hopefully... Hopefully this doesn't go south. Unfortunately, Ultimecia is one of those final bosses with some kind of cheap abilities. Get it over with, fight her now. <laughs> Unfortunately, Ultimecia is one of those bosses with some rather cheap abilities, which uh, can just screw you over in an instant without you having the ability to react. So this could go easily. This could go poorly. Also, she chooses the first three pe people who fight her at random. Oh. So you could distribute your GFs among your whole party, try to get them all nice and ready to go, or you can just sacrifice three of them until yeah. she doesn't choose those three to start with. Sorceresses have strange tastes in clothing, but they make it work. Yeah. They make it work. Also, some of them have wings. And she's a fan of Mortal Kombat. Yeah, she's yeah, everything like, case, yeah. How do we? How? Wh why? I think, it's like, I think it's supposed to be a little kiss across something. Oh, like it, maybe it's supposed to be vaguely Russian. The world is on the brink of that ever elusive time and compression. I don't think anyone's looking for time compression except you. You know. Death, death beyond death. death. That shall end, send you to a dimension beyond your imagining. A room with a moose. <laughs> there I will reign. You will be my slaves for eternity. But it's going to be death beyond death. That's the, that's the trick. <laughs> you have to be alive again. 
I wish there had been more of a confrontation with her so we could get some sense of the, the stakes for everyone yeah. involved. Also, look at Zell's leg. <laughs> look at his fucking broomstick. <laughs> Why? What? Why does he just have this broomstick going on? <laughs> it's so <laughs> wrong. <laughs> All right, let's see who she picked. Her music is amazing, though. Yeah, see, it's like when you get to, um, uh, what's his name in 6? Oh. Uh, fuck. Fuck the main vet. Uh, oh, Kefka. Kefka, like, yeah. you know how twisted and fucked up Yeah, he yeah, is. yeah, because he's like, why should everything, like, why do you keep rebuilding when everything's just gonna get destroyed anyway? Fuck it. Like, Sephiroth, you, you know what he's yeah. gonna do. Like, I know that is pretty intense and powerful, but just all of a sudden, her being here, Yeah, it's like, I have a vague mm -hmm. sense that she's powerful, but... Only because they keep talking about how powerful sorceresses are. Maelstrom, eh? See how bad this is. Pretty bad. <laughs> you know, I like, I'm just gonna sit here for a minute. I'm gonna take a little sit. I don't feel too good. I know she's low enough that she needs a limit break. Come on. Oh, no way. I bet she can't use a limit break. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill Renella. I think she cursed the party, so they can't, can't, currently can't use limit breaks. Uh, Cause Adia had that same ability. Now that I think on it. So why does she want time compression? I don't know. She just wants to fuck bored. She's just bored. Seems to be that she's bored. I like how the backdrop to her throne is just so like two dimensional. It's just the flattest. Little plane. <laughs> they weren't expecting you to see the backside no. of it. No. Off camera secrets. It turns out the back of this throne's kind of fucked up. I like the series off camera secrets, but that's what a lot of those turn out to be. <laughs> you weren't supposed to see this, and so it's just sloppy. But they use the term seeing the sausage made. Trying to think. I they must have used it at least once, but I don't think they really rely on it. I really I that's one of those phrases that I'm just like, shut up. <laughs> just shut the fuck up with the sausages already. <laughs> I've seen sausages be made. It's not that bad. No, it's not. You grind up meat, you put it into a tube. I think of a different thing. Just something else to say. You don't want to see all the sausages made. So gross you out and you won't want to eat sauce if you can't <laughs> get it. The most powerful GF. Miss me! <laughs> well, kind of in a moment. But they don't really get into it. But apparently she's pulling this thing directly from Squall's mind. And it's supposed to be his concept of what the most powerful GF would be. Uh. Well, yeah. It's our buddy, who you named earlier. Griever. There you go. Get out of here, Renoa. <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry, Zell's next. Now, I don't think I can actually use uh, GFs against this guy, because it can just kill them instantly while they're being summoned. Oh. Uh. So instead, I have to rely on other stuff. Just like punch him up a bit right now. Not Doom. So how does another party member come in? Eventually, I think if someone is dead long enough, it will remove them from time, and then another party member will hop into their place. Like what's a good? Yeah, you can see it happening right now. And I have to kill this guy quick. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Be Squall, please be Squall. If it's Squall, give him aura, come on. Absorbed into time. Fine, that's good enough. Come on, Irvine, don't let us down this time. You know, like last time you were oh, supposed to Oh, I'm totally gonna let everyone down, don't worry. Don't worry, team, I got this. Ah, I just can't do it. Demolition pulse ammo, there we go. Smash the one. We didn't really see- I don't know if we saw his limit break. Oh, oh we so. saw it once, but now that I have pulse ammo, it's a lot more effective. Pain. 
With your love. <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> God, there was a bad. You think about like the '70s and music was like amazing, uh -huh. and then you think back in like early 2000s and you're just like, what happened? <laughs> what were people doing? It's a lot of pains. Everyone was in so much pain. Without love, though. Pain. Without all the love. <laughs> Oh dear, I sure hope this can't miss on account of darkness. Oh good. I think that if you look at uh, Irvine's feet, he's being knocked back yeah. by the force of this thing. <laughs> like his gun's exploding every time he fires it. There we go. Good damage, Irvine. Yeah, Irvine, not a total loser. Wow, so apparently rearranging my items didn't make a difference. <laughs> my Megalixers were so buried way deep in there. Everyone have a good old Megalixer. You know, but at least they had that Oh, does really... Megalixer recover status as well? But at least they had that really clumsy UI to rearrange it. Yeah, it makes you wonder what the point of rearranging it even is. Shit, I gotta kill this thing now. What's happening? This might be bad. I think... Okay. This is bad. This does good damage, but I think I can survive it. Where are you guys going? Oh. Also, Zell, get out of here already. Yeah, Zell. I thought you guys wanted me on the team. Okay, good. He couldn't survive that. Is there more, or is it dying? No, that's its final move. Which, like in, like many Final Fantasy bosses, it's one of those things that can just wipe your party in an instant. So be careful. I should have kept Quistis just queued up and ready to heal, but I forgot I can do that. I should have junctioned myself onto Griever. So just like Renoa was junctioned to Adele a moment ago, now Ultimisia is junctioning herself to Griever. Huh. Because that's something that they're just now telling us can happen. Seems like this could have been more the idea of junctioning, like GFs yeah. to you and yourself to other things. Like could have been a more uh, cohesive story component like a throughout. Huge, big part. Of yeah. It. Instead of being something that just happens right at the end, because they like they they mention um, you know GFs and how junctioning them comes with the costs and all that early on, but it it never really becomes a, a huge story component. No. <laughs> Come on, do it, do it, do it. <sighs> Thank God, that's all I was worried about. Now kick Zell's corpse off this floating <laughs> rock. Absorb him in the time. <laughs> and get Squall out here. Guys, I don't get absorbed in the time if you kick me off this rock, no! Naked little baby's gonna take you away, Zell. Yeah, pull Samo and Renzo Kukin are basically just how you demolish a boss in this game. Finally, here we go. Never been so happy to see Squall. No one has. And he started off with basically a full meter too, that's good. Cast Aura on himself, and Quistus is gonna be just in reserve to, yeah, with a Mega yeah, Elixir. That's great. At all times. There's an item called Holy oh my War. God, his speed is getting look at it. I know, it I know it, it start yeah. Like it's so fast that it basically starts off partially filled up. Wait, is this just Quake? Rad. <laughs> oh. This is gonna end poorly for her. Yeah, you see that's a unique animation just for this boss. And I'll use this time to try and get uh, Irvine to use a goddamn. There we go. Yeah. Oh, if only it'd been Lionheart. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Battle Beast, by the way, has a song called Lionheart, and oh. it's pretty cool. Nice. Most of their songs are pretty cool. Yeah. Just about all of them. 
You could. Pr- I think you could end most. So- you, you can begin a sentence with Battle Beast yeah. and end with it's pretty, pretty cool. cool. Yeah. <laughs> There you go, Irvine. We did do work. Oh, good. We're 17 minutes into this recording, and we're already three fourths of the way through the final boss. Oh, great. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. Oh, okay. Ooh, whoa, Wait, maybe you're not dead yet. Okay, not yet, but you are like a fucked up torso. I tend to just blow a mega elixir just for funsies, but. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Come on. Come on do it, do it, Lineart. Yeah. Damn it. I haven't seen Rough Divide yet, I don't think. It's what he used on um, Cypher in the opening cinematic. Oh, yeah. A very, very rare instance, maybe the only instance of a Limit Break being used in a cutscene. Is this it, or is there more? There's gotta be another step, right? There's always another step, yeah. isn't there? You climb this tower of metal and flesh that is Kefka, and then you rise above that, and then there's Kefka deified. I'd like to see uh, Platinum help out with uh, the the scale escalation with the Final Fantasy yeah. game. <laughs> like, because Platinum's got that down. They, they have it down, yeah. They even know how to increase the scale by making something smaller. Mm-hmm. Come on. Come on. Catch one of those snowflakes in your mouth, Squall. Oh, it burns. That's not snow. It's pure energy. Oh, God. It's bits of sorceress and GF. Yeah. <laughs> How many Final Fantasy bosses end with you fighting them in a nebulous <laughs> void? <laughs> Welcome to space, bitches. I don't even have a face, bitches. She doesn't. At some point, that... That fucking... God, where did it go? At some point, that remote control app became terrible. The PL yeah. Smart remote? Yeah. Like, it suddenly went from being a remote to being this front-facing interface yeah. with all this TV stuff and on it and pop-up ads. And ads. Yeah, I'm like, what happened? You know what was great is when they try to con- still push that on the phones that don't have the IR blaster. Uh-huh. Like, my Note 5 doesn't... I can't use it as a remote any longer because the the Note 3 had an, uh. an IR blaster, but the Note 5 doesn't. So I'm like, why would I use this app? Like, why would I use this... Mm-hmm. Hey, it's like, don't you want to watch TV? <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm gonna, not going to do yeah. this. I'm not going to use your advertisement <laughs> app just to control TV that I don't have. Yeah. So Hell's Judgment is the primary reason to keep a, a healer just queued up. Reduce everyone's HP to one. Oh. That's bad news bears. Fucking... Squall, for fuck's sake. Do it, Squall. Oh, and it wore off. So the vines. I love Ultimecia's final music. Yeah, it's, it's good. Also, she seems to be dangling underneath. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, I love their... I love that. The, the Final Fantasy boss designs where you just... They have elements that you don't even notice. Yeah, and... It's just cool. Like it just, uh, it's just, it's what I expect to see. Mm-hmm. Come on, a little bit of like body horror kind yeah, of. Yeah, a little bit. Thank you, Bahamut Card, for having 100 mega elixirs. <laughs> that seems like the most busted element of this whole game. What? What did I lose? Sleep? That's fine. Something they don't go... Uh, something we haven't seen yet, but saw right there, is that uh, after from Griever on, this boss has the ability to eliminate your entire stock of a random spell. Oh. So I could lose Ultima. I could lose Flare or Quake or anything. Fortunately, that was just sleep. So I think going into this fight, it's good to make sure that your characters have all eight 
pages of spells just loaded up with stuff. I want to use Meltdown on her, but I gotta keep Quistus queued up. Yeah. God, it's scrolls so fast. Damn it. Come on. I'm not certain it would end this fight in an instant, but it would certainly speed things along. Yeah, it would be amazing to see again. Yeah. At least we got on camera once. And that's what makes fighting Ultima and Omega Weapon mostly just a matter of RNG. Is sometimes he'll do it and he'll use Lionheart three or four times in a row, and it's like, well, there's a million damage, I'm done. Sometimes he just won't do it. Fuck, he's so fast. It's so funny. It's great. Oh, and his aura wore off. If only the limit breaks in this game just weren't the way it is, so yeah. you don't have to keep hitting triangle. Uh -huh. I imagine if you just use Omni Slash every move. <laughs> yeah. This giant pillar of energy. Yeah. Oh, we're not seeing it because we didn't go explore the world after time compression. But this game does something frustrating, which it and nine do, where when you get to the final area, suddenly most of the world becomes inaccessible. Mm. In this case, because of time compression, like most of the cities just can't be accessed. In nine, uh, like mist starts to cover everything, mm -hmm. and that blocks you from getting anywhere. So, if you're gonna do side quests, you gotta do them before you actually get to the end of the game. They stopped doing that in 10. Good. I don't know why they ever did it. Let's just make most of the world inaccessible yeah. after this point. Yeah, Irvine. There we go. Do it, Irvine, do it. Alright, Squall. Make me proud. A decent final boss for a Final Fantasy, though. Oh, like, yeah. A lot of them are just complete pushovers after a certain point, but this one is putting up a fight and is proving to be kind of dangerous. Yeah, especially reducing your health to one. I yeah. mean, you could really be caught off guard by that. I, I think most Final Fantasy final bosses have that a, a version of that move. Kefka had one. I'm pretty sure Sephiroth had one. Um, she has it, obviously. Didn't remember Kuja. So I just now realized there's two targets. Yeah, her lower half is a target as well. What is she doing? Okay. I'm gonna fuck up her lower half a bit. I'm not certain if you have to kill them both or if it's just one or the other. Yeah. It's probably both. Like, if you kill the top one, it'll just absorb energy from the bottom. Your sensation. Once she starts saying, when she starts talking to you, she's near death, though. She's telling you to think about your childhood. I don't want to. What I lose? Region. Uh oh. No that was region. that was junction to his health, but oh. he still seems to have nine 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 nine, so that's <laughs> fine. Come on, Irvine. This is, this, is, this is your chance for redemption. Okay, she's dead. I'm not going to waste pulse ammo then. <laughs> was that the lower half? I think that was the upper half. Oh, yeah. Oh, flare. whoop de do. Yeah, she has one target now. Eight, six, okay. Come on, Squall, do it. This is your last chance, man. This might literally be what kills her, so... Make me proud. Damn. You want to use your... Your very first limit break. Okay. I want to use Braver! <laughs> I've come so far! God, this music's so good. I, I like one we get Angel, but goddamn. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I don't know how powerful this will be, but... 
You know, I don't fuck around with Ultima. So, <laughs> Mega Elixir, everybody. Everyone drink from this big, gross cup. We're so full, though. <laughs> drink more. I gotta pee. Drink more. Yeah, that wasn't the most potent of, of, of Ultimas. Whoa. That was a weird angle. And... <laughs> It's like, do we just have to... Are we just beating a soliloquy out of her at this <laughs> point? Just give me time, give me time. Let me finish my sentence and then I'll die, okay? Let me just get it out. Then I'll go. I promise I'll let you finish. Just, let me, just hold on a minute. Wow, she does not like Squall's magic. Meltdown. Alright, that's fine. Forget what that was junction to, but it doesn't really matter. I think you can turn that meter off in the configuration, but I don't know why you would want to. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is it. Oh. Are we done? Oh. I think this Ow, this my... looks pretty final. I don't know how you can escalate from this. <laughs> my no face. Okay, yeah, big beam of light into the sky. Glowing breasts. <laughs> Always with the glowing breasts in these games. This seems pretty final, unless now we're going to fight her on a white, nebulous plane. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Yeah. Once you go negative, that seems to be pretty final. That's the key to escalating it, you know, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, inverting the colors. Uh -huh. You can't go any further than that, that's it. And then when your body fades piece by piece into the into the ether, Riggs, what are you even? You're choking on regular breathing. <laughs> Aww, puppy, you're ruining the the climax of Final Fantasy VIII. One time Riggs had a fur in his eye, and I was trying so hard to help him out. Oh. That is an impossible thing to oh. do, is try to get some fur out of a dog's eye. I was just like, well, Riggs, I guess that's stuck there for life. And I just squirted some eye drops into his eye, and I was like, good luck, buddy. Is it over? I wonder if I can put down the controller. Let's go back to our time. Yeah, I can. Okay. Alright, everyone, let's just uh, take a little. <laughs> Look how fast I'm moving, yeah. Irvine. Am I cool yet? Shut up. Just calm down and think where we have to go. I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> don't throw up in, neg in negative time. I'm throwing up in Whatever infinity. Whatever you do, don't fall into a time warp. There's what? Infinity throw up? Yeah. Because I can't stop. You're just, somehow you're vomiting into a Mobius strip. <laughs> time, place, who I want to be with. I hate that all of our protagonists are under the age of 19. I know. Like, time, space, who I want to be with. Yeah. <laughs> time, space. Oh, my Instagram photo got some likes. What kind of selfie would you take in nega time? Here I am, before and after all existence. Hashtag don't know where I'm at. Hashtag how do I get home. Hashtag quantum theory, am I right? Popular hashtag. Very popular hashtag. After time compression. Especially with those 19 year olds. Here I am in time compression riding a dinosaur during World War II. Hashtag quantum physics, am I right? Where am I? Why am I the only one in the black naked space? Makes not... sense. <laughs> Where's Hot Topic? I'm late to Hot Topic. <laughs> Squall, were you ever that cocksure? Yeah, and where'd it go if you were? Yeah. Squall, don't make me use my magic powers to whoop your ass. It's like if Bayonetta was your mom. That'd be a tough childhood. Again, I, we discussed that during the Bayo playthrough. Like, <laughs> you would see her getting mad at you, and you know it's coming because she suddenly vaults over your head into witch time and whips your ass <laughs> in a quarter of a second. <laughs> you just hear your mom say so close, and your ass hurts. <laughs> but she's back to where she had been. It's 
So Adia told Squall that 13 years ago she met another sorceress and had to absorb her powers. Turns out that was Ultimecia. And Squall was there as well. Ah. So Adia saw, saw Squall at some point and was like, oh. And this causes a time paradox. Because Ultimecia gives her powers to Adia, who passes them on to Renoa, which passes on through time to Ultimecia, who eventually passes them back to Adia. So, Ultimecia's powers actually have no origin. They just exist. That's messed up. In a time loop. <laughs> I don't want one of the children to become one. That'd be fucked up. So Adia must have just been calm the whole time, knowing that it's all going to work out. Yeah. And well, I know you're going to win, so I'm not concerned. But she, she probably just feels for their worry, but... Yeah. I like, oh, well. Although, I would have enjoyed if this game had an alternate, like, bad ending, where if you do fail in the fight with Ultimecia, it basically causes a time paradox. Because it's like, no, you won, but you've lost, which means... Ultimecia's powers can't be passed on to Ultimecia, which means this will never occur anyway, which means you'll never get into that fight, which means you're alive. And then someone's head just explodes. And then all of a sudden you're at the beginning of the game again, you're like, no, yeah. I'm not and, gonna. And now there's another one, because Squall's telling, um, he's telling Adia about Garden and Seed and how they're trying to defeat the Sorceress, and he's like, they're your ideas. We're trying to fight the Sorceress. And now she's gonna bring this idea to Sid, and they're gonna start Garden and Seed. Inception. And, and, but, kind of, but again, it's a time paradox. I think specifically this is a predestination paradox where something has no clear origin yeah. point. You know, if this game had New Game Plus, it would kind of make sense. It would. It would make complete sense. I can't find Sis. You stupid child, I'm here. Your other adopted siblings are here. <laughs> Apparently Squall just forgot seeing himself as an adult. Although he did forget all of this, come to think of it, on account of the GFs. The only Squall permitted here is you. Turns the other one, get the fuck out of here, future Squall, I hate you so much. And then the little kid Squall's like, man, black and multiple belts looks real cool. You know what? That was probably in the back of Squall's mind, even though he didn't remember. Like, he just saw that coat on a rack at some point, and in his mind, he was like, huh. Well, see, he bought that coat when he was, like, 12. Yeah, and then grew into it. <laughs> well, no, he grew out of it. Yeah, he just had yeah. super long arms when he was 12. Major, what the fuck happened to that guy? He... I'd like to see what that looked like from their perspective. Like, like, like seeing time stop, not from Dio's perspective. Just so some person on the street... Like suddenly, oh, that cat just exploded. <laughs> what the hell? The only way to get around a predestination paradox like that is to establish that there are multiple timelines which exist in parallel but at different points. Mm. And so it sets up the possibility, at least the possibility, that in one of those timelines, the the source things play out differently, and the the sorceress power would have its own distinct origin, and then it's just being passed along in different timelines. But this seems to be the singular timeline. A lot of people write time travel stories, but don't really think about time travel. Apparently, Quantum Break does exactly what you think would happen. Because they actually thought about time travel. Hmm. It's like, well, if this time travel machine works, then as soon as he turns that corner, he should be there. Oh, he's there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now you're just in this infinite desert? Jesus. Fuck. I guess I'll just kill myself. I mean, jeez. Yeah, that jacket does a shit job of keeping his belly, belly warm. I don't think he can even zip it up. No. Nope. Like, I don't think it's long, wide enough. He's got to show off them pecs. But man, they really stepped up their FMV game. Yeah, they did. Like, this is remarkable for a PS1 title. Holy shit. 
this is all the disk space. Yeah, I think so. This disk that that might be why they that uh, mm, come to think of it, that might be why most of the world is inaccessible. They're like, hey, this this FMV takes up fifty percent of the disk. We need to remove yeah. the towns. We can't we can't have that that area on there. So let's just contrive a reason why the player can't go back so we can actually remove that data from the disk. Which, again, might apply to 9, because the FMVs in there are also superb. Even better than this, and I think they might be less compressed as well. Well, you made it. Time to throw yourself off. Oh, I guess I give up now. I believe we're coming up on the key moment that people use when they, when they posit the squall is dead theory. Oh, so sleepy. Squall, just fucking think about all the people in your life. That was the whole plan, remember? Laguna told you! Laguna told you, and then you all told each other. Like, even Ultimecia was telling you. Yeah. Like, Ultimecia knew she was gonna die, and she's like, well, fine. Since you're winning, you may as well live. Huh? Squall just like believe you exist or something. I don't know. Fuck. I don't know what's going on right now. Your scar doesn't seem to have properly healed. Yeah, it's still kind of red. Like it probably like weeps pus from time to time. Oh, gross. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's hot. Sometimes it's just like all of a sudden in his eye. Yeah. Or it, like, drips all the way down onto his lip. Mm-hmm. He remembers her with, like, Cypher's face. Like, <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Remembers her with Zell's legs. Yeah. Selfie's hair. Starts doing that horror film thing that was popular for a bit where things just shake back and forth really oh, quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that originated with Jacob's Ladder. Remember when we were in space? Now you're not there. Now you're there. Fucking Tim compression. <laughs> what? <laughs> why? Why are you remembering the big mechanical spooky spider squall? Is that is that just what happens in your dreams? It's weird. It's pretty weird. I'm not certain what's going on. <laughs> Just clown faces from time to time. <laughs> yeah. An old bald for, man. For there was a for a moment there was a flash there where Squall had no face. It was just like a black void. Ugh. But there was also a flash of Renoa's space helmet shattering, yeah. and that didn't happen. Yeah, why would it show that? It's just him imagining I, I what think would it's have just happened. That, if... Possibly, yeah. That that might be all of Squall's darkest fears, actually. Because they did talk his about... His face is gone. And... Yeah, his pretty face <laughs> is gone. Like they, they talked about how afraid he is, and how he's afraid of losing people and Renoa's helmet shattering could have been like his fear of losing her and his his face not being there could be symbolic of his fear of being lost entirely like, I don't think that's him being afraid of I don't think that's him supposed to be dead I, in this moment I think he's just afraid of losing himself mm. and losing one's face is symbolic of losing yourself This also started the trend of weird pop songs in Final Fantasy games. <laughs> this 
Squalp. <laughs> Squalf. <laughs> Squalb. Squalv. You know my name. Squalls? Squab. <laughs> Squ squat. <laughs> Quack. Uh, skew. Huh. I guess they're back. Hopefully people know where to find them. It would be a real shame if we starved to death in this field of beautiful flowers. <laughs> so, Full of monsters and shit. So let's not do that. If we just survived time compression, let's not die in a field of flowers. <laughs> Pokeball. <laughs> That's what you do now, Cypher? You just fish? Yeah. Well, also, why is your line under the water? I haven't fished in a while. <laughs> well, it goes to the bobber, and then from the bobber it goes to the hook. <laughs> Good. Giant Final Fantasy Ocean Fish. I'll. I like that they're having a good time. They're having a good time. Assholes. Yeah, Cypher's finally ah, laughing. Yeah. Cypher, you had more growth than Squall. You did. <laughs> <laughs> Cypher's like, you know what? I got bros. Life's I, not bad. Yeah, I, we can just go fish in this beautiful, pristine world. Fuck it. He even seems kind of like contented. Yeah. Even happy. Like seeing that. Was that the garden? That was, yeah, that was garden. He's just like, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. Ah, uh, we do get to see Laguna. In his uh, modern garb, on oh, his wedding ring. The prettiest man, the prettiest woman. Super pretty power couple. They couldn't have children; they'd be too pretty. <laughs> That's why fate took her from him. Reality was like this can't happen. <laughs> this would be too much. I tricked you into marriage. Aha, that's how it works in this world. Damn right it. now. Don't try to remove it. Don't want to know what happens it's, if you try to remove it. It's one of them curse bands. I bought it from this traveling gypsy with three eyes and a fake leg with a real foot. So you know she is the real deal. See, I got one too. Yeah, see? I'm serious about this. Maybe I'll just cosplay as Laguna sometimes. You could do it. Knows it. Yeah, you could do some good Laguna cosplay, and then have Jamie cosplay as uh, Medea. That'd be sweet. And either her just matron garb or her complicated sorceress <laughs> yeah. garb. Except I want to cosplay as that Laguna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Laguna must be. Let's see. He's, yeah, Laguna's something like forty-one years old right now. He's a damn good forty-one. He's just barely got some smile lines, yeah. like just barely. Like that's barely. all he ha Yeah, that's all he has is smile lines. Your buddies put on their clothes from twenty years ago. It's weird. <laughs> she looks a lot like uh, Aya from Parasite Eve, mm. but but brunette instead of blonde. Oh, we've already got this face. May as well reuse it. <laughs> Save development time. Sure hope that thing never falls. That'd be a bad day for everyone. So this is the polar opposite of Seven's ending, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Everyone lived happily ever after, the end. But, and the thing is, is that the ending of 8 is, it does leave you with kind of good feelings, but at the same time, if you stop and think too hard, you're like, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't know what went oh, on. Oh, it's important that you pay attention to what's going on. Oh, God. Is he drunk? Yeah, I think he's drunk. Making a fool of himself. Who's stealing hors d'oeuvres back there? <laughs> Some baller. Someone who didn't get to go on the world saving adventure. <laughs> <laughs> and was like, fuck it. <laughs> Irvine seems all right. Yeah. Once he gets past all the creep stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Quistus is like a little shy about the camera. Uh -huh. <laughs> she just stands ramrod straight and stares into it. Oh god, it is Robin Williams. <laughs> what the hell? Hairy arms and everything. <laughs> 
Oh, selfie is still recording. Quist just whips it out of her hand. It is great that Selfie did do a selfie, though. It is great that she thought, did a selfie. Oh, is this going to be Zell? No, it's it's Adia. That's the simplest cosplay in the world, too. Everybody just has, like, the hottest co like partner in life in this yeah. game. <laughs> Except Adia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah she she kind of... She is the settler. Well, unless that's her thing. Yeah. Gotta admit, everyone does have their own tastes and predilections and... You know, a lot of people like bears. <laughs> thanks for that junk shot. Yeah, thanks for thanks for showing us that thousand dollar cod piece. You're holding it wrong, dude. You're, oh god, you're that guy, aren't you? There you go. At least she took it. At least she took his hat. Oh, this is fun. There, this is fun. Where was all this character development? I don't know. Of um, course, Irvine. Yeah. <laughs> she's like fucker. She's chewing him out. Let's like, get away from is, this guy. Like, this it. is great. Yeah. This is really good. You really getting a lot of their personality through this. Oh, Where Zell finally this? gets. To, remember Zell yeah. and his hot dogs. You know, like, what if he just chokes to death on them? <laughs> I like that. There's a woman. There's, there's. Oh my God, is he crying? <laughs> he's dying. He's choking. <laughs> I like how that woman was like leaning on her hand, like she was just infatuated with Zell, <laughs> and now he's choking to death on hot dogs. Oh, this is the best. This yeah. is the best part. That moment where he picks up the cup and it's like, "There's no water." He is short. He yeah. looked like yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's he was shorter than Quistus even. And but no, Quistus is like five eight or something. I'm glad selfie. You know, selfie's dre like yeah. dressed up for the occasion. Yeah. <clears throat> I would think they're gonna do it. Oh no, they're not. But he's not there. Aw. Because he's dead. Because <laughs> he was never alive. This never happened. Nothing ever happened. Nothing ever happened. It's like this is just a game that doesn't really exist. <laughs> there's a there's an SNBC comic where it's just a boy running down the beach with his dad, and he's, he's like, the, he's like, you know, the the day is wonderful, father. Let's fly kites. And then the the caption is just like, later on, the boy realized they were just pictures in a story. Worse than death, they never existed. <laughs> and that's the joke. Action actor, Zeldin's yeah. backflip, Hoke and Sonoda. So they do motion capture for something? It or? seems. It, it made a motion or capture. Filmed it them could, for reference? It was probably just for reference because YouTube didn't exist. And it's like, well, we need just footage of someone doing a backflip from a particular <laughs> angle. The Barry Fatali. Lyrics, Latin translation, orchestra, conductor, soprano, alto, tenor, bass, according to mixing. Like that one song gets its own credits. Yeah. Eyes on me from by Fei Wong. That name sounds familiar. Hmm. Vocal recording producer, engineer, artist manager, recording coordinators. Okay. Each of the each of the major songs gets its own theme, or credits rather. I think it's the first time we've seen that though. Yeah. Well, it's a, like, like you know, they just like music composer Nabu Imasu. It's like and, they finally realized how big of a deal yeah. music was in Final and, Fantasy. And I, this was the first time where the music was actually composed. I mean, not not composed, but like recorded live with actual performers. Like they before with from Seven Beyond and and back, it was all done in game. It was all synthesized. Um, but this is the first time where they actually got people in a studio with their instruments. And we're like, all right, fuckers. I have no idea what this scene is. It's been so long. And I've only played through this game like twice. And I'm like seven. Or I'm probably... Probably approaching ten playthroughs. Have you ever tried to chase down a shooting star in Breath of the Wild? I've never seen one. Apparently, if you go where, to where it lands, you can find stuff. Oh, I, yeah. You can find um, star fragments or something, which are used to level up the um, amiibo armor. Mm. Oh, so Squall was there. Now they're kissing. They, they're doing kisses. Aw. Yeah. 
Why aren't, they do, why aren't they doing kisses on their rad spaceship, though? Where are they going? Up to the moon? Take the school to the moon! <laughs> Woo! Oh, we're dying! Stop it! The moon's really close to this world. Like, way too close. The end. Aww. We did it. Did it. Did it. Done. Wow. Never gonna play that again, but nope. I'm glad no, that we did. <laughs> no need to. Yeah. But Because now it's all on camera. And we're like, what happened? Let's go watch what happened. Well, shit. Yeah, that's Final Fantasy VIII, everybody. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, which could be Monday. I don't know when this is going up. Uh, but we'll be back with Final Fantasy IX. Yeah! Spoiler, I guess. Yeah! Anyway, soil! Soil!